a random guy went to study microbiology abroad to do his masters of course he was happy when he got the admission and he left he was funded and he left after he was done with his master's degree program, he was left with just three months for his visa to expire. Now, the only way for him to remain in that country is for him to get a job. But of course, he studied microbiology. Thinking that microbiology is actually a good course, getting a job in the field of microbiology became a daunting tax. My guy started to look for job. Because of desperation, do you know what he did? He had to, like, at that point, he was just left with one more month for his visa to expire. And if you stay longer than when your visa is due, you become an alien. And it is not good for your passport because eventually if you are caught, you're going to be deported and it will reduce your chances of traveling again or getting um, a visa to another country, especially the US or the Canada. Yes, they don't joke with extensions. Now, let me tell you what he did. He went, because of desperation, he went to buy a passport. He went to buy an Austrian passport because this guy is in the UK. He went to buy an Austria passport and they sold it for him. And he thinks that now he has gotten an Austria passport, he, mo he can move to any other country, probably US and even any European country that is under the Schengen zone. Of course, he was happy because he has done it. He did it at a very expensive price. I can't remember or I don't want to share. Now, he was applying for the US. Unknown to him that the people who did the passport for him broke the bank of do like the bank of passports. He didn't know and he took the passport. Well, the passport is legit, but it was it was a stolen passport. Then he took that passport to apply for a US visa. It was at that point that he was arrested. But unfortunately for him, he was arrested. And he went to jail for six months. This is because of desperation. This is because of desperation. A lot of people don't prepare. It is not just about moving from Nigeria to outside country. The main problem is staying because a lot of people see it as an embarrassment to come back to Nigeria. A lot of people see it as it, like um, you you failed for you to come back to Nigeria without achieving anything. If you don't want to experience this and if you know you have pride that you don't want to come back to Nigeria after you've left without results, then you should continue watching this video because a lot of people are in this mess. A lot of people have gone through dependent, student dependent, and they moved through student dependent and now the, the, the student cannot afford to pay the school fees and now the student is at risk of going back to Nigeria. And because they are dependent to that student, probably through marriage or whatever, now they are like, you know, this is more like a fake marriage. So now they are tied. Now the student wants to go back to Nigeria. Now the student is making some ridiculous, um, some ridiculous offer that the tuition fee should be shared between the dependent and her. Knowing that these dependents have actually paid for everything, for the document, for everything, for like everything. And now she's stranded. Now the dependent is left with no choice but to help her to pay her school fees. Pay something where you no plan. So you they walk, bamboo, they chop. You don't want to face this challenge. You don't want to face this problem. Well, there are other ways for you to remain permanent or have a resident permit in a country. Number one is true marriage which some people actually do. You can get married to a citizen and you can now have a stay. Second one is true uh, study route and uh, true work, I mean, which I am talking about today. True work. Work can actually give you a permanent, uh, so yes, it can give you a permanent resident and also give you a residential permit.
to stay in that country. So for you to get a job, you need to have what it takes to get that job. You need to have the skill, which I'll be sharing you the skill you should do, the skill, skill you should know, the course you should study. You shouldn't come abroad and be studying courses that are not relevant. Watch this video to the end because it's very important to you. A lot of people have come here to study agriculture technology and now they are looking for a job. They are coming to study agriculture. Yes, agriculture is good, but do they need foreigners to do the job? Because they have their own citizens. So you need to understand that the course you are coming to study, there is job offer for it that can make you stay in that country. Now you've gone to study digital marketing that it's almost very, very saturated. In fact, you don't even need to even go to a school to study digital marketing. And now you've come to do your master's in digital marketing. And now you're looking for a job. And now you have a few more months left for your visa to expire. And you become so desperate like the random guy I told you about. And now you're in your verge of going back home. Please and please, courses that you are studying really matter. Don't just be so desperate to travel. Check out the course and do your findings. If this course, there are job offer for it. If there are no job offer, I will tell you what to do. If what to do in the beginning, like in the beginning stage, I will tell you what you can do. Yes, it is not over. I know some people that have studied um, urban and regional planning, um, some, kind, some kind of courses that are not really, really good in Nigeria. Now they want to change or probably come into tech and they think it's difficult. It is not difficult. Once you can run some courses, some programs, I'm already sharing the what you should do. Once you can run some courses and some programs under that thing you choose to study, you can now do your master's because you now have a background knowledge in it. Am I getting it? Am I making sense? Because it happened to me, yes. It happened to me. I studied transport management technology. And me studying transport management te technology, how would I transit to tech? Because transport management technology is not what I wanted to do. I just did it just because you understand. We don't write jamb. We've written a lot of uh, um, um, jamb and uh, post me, but we can't get admission. The only way is just to let us study these things, settle for less. But I had to do some courses, did some design courses, did some programming course and now i'm now doing my choice of course that i want to do doing my masters in my choice of course i want to do so you can actually do the same thing but now the problem is which course should i do like it is not only tech i'll give you some kind of courses that it's good for you to do number one civil engineer yes they are jobs because foreigners they need foreigners people that are intelligent civil engineer is good if you're doing your masters in civil engineer fine renewable energy Beautiful. Probably you studied petroleum engineering and you're now you're doing your, your master's in renewable energy. Perfect. Electrical, ener el electrical engineering. Very, very good. ICT communication engineering. Very, very, very good. Don't come here. I come and be studying digital marketing. Don't come here. I come and be studying microbiology. In fact, it is better you study science lab technology than you study microbiology because there is no job for you. Don't come here. I come and study animal science there is no job for foreigners abroad uk america anywhere okay don't say i did not warn you now um cyber security is actually an amazing job uh, amazing course cyber security data analysis yes it is difficult but you don't have a choice see it's not about your passion anymore it's about what will make you stay and give you money because that's the reason we left home to feed home so you should understand this. You should give it time to learn it. And if this is the only remedy to, for your breakthrough, my brother, you need to do it. Product management is a very, very good course. Um, project management, it's a very, very good course. Chartered financial analysis is also a very, very good course. Like being a chartered bank, um, chartered financial, other chartered accountant. It is very, very nice. Once you can do it very well and you stand, you can do your master's in it and you will get a job. Accountant, you get a job. You get a job as a chartered accountant, as I said. Business administration is a 50-50. I don't want to advise you, but it's a 50-50. A lot of people are into business administration. Yes, 
except probably you're, you're probably having an MBA. Yes. But business administration as masters, hmm, you will come out and look for job. You might be lucky. It's a 50-50 opportunity. So don't risk it. Machine learning. Machine learning is a very, very good course. It is stressful. It is difficult to learn. It is not difficult for anything. It's just if you sit down and learn it, you are going to become a master in it. Six months, one year. Do a course on this thing. Even if you don't have a background in them, do a course on Udemy and Coursera. I normally say it in my videos. Once you do these courses, apply for these schools that you have a background in this. They would give you the job. Um, sorry, they will give you the admission. Now you can, you've transcended from your bachelor, what you've done in your bachelor, to what you want to do. So when you apply for admission, they will give it to you. Am I making sense? Cloud computing, machine learning, as I said, um, data analysis, um, which other one? There are, there are so many. Artificial intelligence, like it's a course, artificial intelligence. Computer science, don't joke with computer science, don't joke with computer science. Computer science, blockchain technology, um, that is Web3. Um, software development software engineers so these are course like you can literally go online and check for courses that are relevant in 2024 that one can study and start what doing something about it don't say i did not tell you don't say you were not told you shouldn't come here and study except probably you're good in driving on skills job are also good carpentry plumbing very very good but don't come here empty-handed. It is very, very important. Don't come here empty-handed. Do a course that will land you a job that probably would land you a residence permit. That is the main important thing. So you don't go back to Nigeria and now you're not embarrassed at no results, show working, nothing. I don't know if I'm making sense. So do this and God help you. My name is Samson Pius. I come again sharing you important updates like this. Do wait to subscribe and follow my channel. Thank you very, very much. Have a wonderful evening.